I am doing competitive research on uh, for a client and I am trying to look at a few competitors. Often it's hard to know how do they build their business, how do they reach out to customers, how do they, what do they do for go to market or sales or de product development. And one way I realized to get more information is look at social media. So from social media, I can get information on how they operate or how they get customers. But sometimes this is a lot of information. And this is where I use chat GPT the, to be able to parse this information and synthesize it in a way that's usable for me and the business. I'll show you an example here for one uh, competitor. I opened up a few tabs of example information. So one is this person who has a bunch of bullet points. So there's some information here. So I could either paste this in from LinkedIn or uh, use the about and see if there's any information relevant. Then I, uh, there's an, somebody else who, who's also working in the same company and there's a bunch of information here. Some of it may also be in a different language. So I'll either paste the same language or use Google Translate either way uh, will work. And then there's this where the, uh, this person where somebody's talking about good use of CRM platforms. So this tells me that this company uses CRM platforms. They also have they also have somebody working on the landing page of the website and creating new material for it using Adobe. Uh, so it's giving some idea and also about managing social media channels. <clears throat> somebody else talks about QA, access card, configuration, production technician. But more specifically, so there seems to be somebody who's doing QA review and there's somebody who's doing RMA management and warranty hardware processing. This tells me a bit more about their after sales service and their QA after development process before they ship units. Then there's a magazine where there's a sponsored article. Now, most of it might be very boilerplate, but there can be a few numbers here or there, a few or few descriptions which might be relevant. To, uh, to the competitive research. They talk about technology is key and uh, they talk a bit about brand sentiment, brand perception, and maybe there's something here relevant uh, and I've already looked at it and pasted it in here. So let's see what, what are the excerpts that I have created. Uh, for each of these links, I have pasted some information in here. I'm just going to scroll through this um, so you can take a look. You can see there's a lot of information, but not everything is relevant. And I would need to spend again hours and hours to clean up information that's not relevant. If somebody's name is something, they've been in this company for a while and what have they gone through is not important. We are not looking at the people, we are trying to understand the company. So there's this all this information. Now, how do we synthesize it? So here's the prompts that worked for me. The first time I tried it out, I said, I analyzed a business so and so. I copied all relevant information from their employees LinkedIn. I want you ChatGPT to stitch this together in a coherent picture with bullet points under multiple headings. And I had no idea what these headings should be. So I told it these are the kind of things that I'm looking for. Uh, broadly, if you think of it, why, what, where, when, who, uh, those kind of questions, right? So, and everything around the customer. Um, and then I pasted all the information in. Now it's possible that I have so much information that it's not able to process it. Uh, I've also handled that in a separate case, but not here. Uh, a quick summary of how you can process more information is you start with some information, let it create the headings, and then I give it iteratively more information and ask it to some include this in its existing output. Once I had tried this out, I realized that it's creating a few headings and those headings worked fine. So I continued using the same heading. So the next time I told it to use those headings. So you can see that I pasted that in. Um, now let's see how the output looks like for here. So this is for the same business that where we looked at the LinkedIn and the sponsored magazine post. So I told it that I had analyzed the business. I copied all relevant information, use these settings, but also this is what I'm trying to understand. And here's the information I need to process. So I pasted in all the information. Now here's the output. It's it has grouped it under the headings at a, as I wanted. So that's good. But if you scroll through it, I realize there's still way too much bullet points or like really, really long information. I would like this to be more concise. So I just told it to make things more concise. Uh, that worked fine. 
The other thing that I tested the last time and I again did it here is to review the information to see if it has inaccuracies or not. So if you look up chat GPT one shot learning, there are two things that it says. One is, uh, and looks like I didn't use that tip here. One is to write, let's think step by step. So to write, let's think step by step. And this is for zero shot reasoning. You'll find all of this is coming up. That improves the accuracy a lot. There are many methods to improve the accuracy of ChatGPT's output. One of the methods is to tell it that it's an expert. Another is to tell it that to review everything that it's doing. Third is to do let's think step by step. So I also tried the review method here, review the information you have written to so see if there are any inaccuracies. My concern always is when ChatGPT is synthesizing something is that it will bring in extraneous information on added creative, take its own creative liberties to write something that's not true. Um, and, and so when it reviewed it, it has edited some of these things, but the edits don't always make sense. So I'll still need to review each of these edits and see which one do I want to keep. For example, the lowest, uh, no, not this one. Yeah. So this one, so original was employee CRM platforms like this, this, this for customer relations. Now that's helpful. The edit was utilizes the, those CRM platforms like Pardot, Salesforce and Marketo and generates material for their website landing page. Now, the second part is more about what a person does rather than what the business does. This is not as useful. Similarly, manages warranty hardware processing is about the business versus takes lead in warranty hardware processing and RMA management is about the person. So on one hand, it's emphasizing that the synthesis was accurate already. On the other hand, it seems that this uh, edit made it forget the fact that it needs to give me the output about the business, not about people. Um, so uh, now with this information, I pasted it into a table. So you can see the synthesis here. Uh, for each of the sections, I have all the information here. Now here, I actually forgot to paste it by the bullet points. I pasted an earlier version of it, which is still in paragraphs but I'm going to paste it in bullet points because it will be easier to skim through and see the information relevant for me and our business.